As an administrator, you have access to all information within an employee file. You can access employee files by pulling them up on the Staff tab on the top menu. When you click this page, your team automatically populates the view that you're presented with, starting with the manager, followed by all of the employees in alphabetical order. If the person you're looking to view isn't on your team, then you can pull them up in the full company directly simply by searching their name. Once you've found the employee that you'd like to view, you can simply access their file by clicking into their name. What you're looking at is the employee file. You can customize what this employee file contains simply by configuring your administration settings. The dashboard is where you can see a summary of employee file information. You can edit an employee file from this view, and you can see kudos and notes, goals, skills, salary, documents, time off, and popular activities from this view. Now, let's click into kudos and notes. From this view, I can give Matthew a note or a kudos. Let's give him a kudos. Now, when I do this, the kudos shows up on the overview page, which I'll open up in a separate tab and show you in a bit. It not only shows up on his employee file, but also in the news activity stream. Before I show you that, let's leave a note for Matthew. Here, I can specify the privacy setting, write the note, and save it to his employee file. You can see that the privacy setting I selected shows up on the note and kudos. Let's take a look at that overview page. You can see here in Happening in the Company, Matthew Perry received a kudo from Donna. By clicking the Read More link, I'm brought back to Matthew's employee file, where I can see the kudos and notes that have been left for him. Let's manage goals for Matthew. I can add a goal and select the privacy setting here. Once I save the goal, it's added to Matthew's employee file. Now, I can edit the goal and mark it as complete. Now, let's have a look at Matthew's skills. There are no skills being tracked yet for Matthew, so let's add a new one. You can customize this list of skills in your administration settings. We'll finish adding a skill for Matthew and show you where you can configure these settings in just a moment. Although I opened up these configuration settings in another tab, you can access this part of the system by going to your administration tab, looking under employees, and reviewing the skills here. You can add a new skill or delete already existing ones. The next part of the employee file we're going to show you is salary history. Here you can update Matthew's salary or make edits to pre-existing notes. In the documents portion of the employee file, you can upload files that are specific for Matthew. Select the privacy setting, choose the file, choose the file type, and upload. Finally, time off. Here, you can see that every type of time off that you're tracking in the system is divided and presented to you on different tabs. To learn more about configuring your time off settings, we suggest you watch our Tribe HR time off video. Earlier on, we mentioned you can specify the information you want to collect in an employee file, as it's presented here. To customize this information, visit your administration tab in the top right corner of the page. Now, select Employees from the horizontal navigation bar, and you're presented with a list of custom fields. You can reorder these fields, or add a new one, or delete pre-existing ones. Within Employee Setup Options, you determine the skills that you're tracking within the organization. You can also specify an unlimited number of review types. In this video, we'll very briefly discuss employee reviews, but for more information, we suggest that you watch our employee review video. Within employee setup options, you specify the types of files that can be uploaded per employee file. In addition to setting the password strength for managers and administrators and employees. Let's quickly take a look at that reviews tab. Here you're presented with a list of ongoing reviews. But let's see how a review looks in an employee file. Let's look at Ryan's reviews. Once you click into the employee file, you can scroll to the bottom and see the past reviews that have taken place, in addition to the reviews that are currently in progress. The last feature we'll show you today is the reports feature. 
Here, you can choose to export the information that you're collecting in employee files. You can choose all of the information or individual criteria. If you have any questions or would like more information about managing your employee files, please feel free to be in touch. Visit our help desk, send us an email, or give us a quick call. Either way, we're always happy to hear from you.